Welcome back, and I say welcome back because this is the second of our little Riesling investigations here in Albany in Western Australia. Uh, if you haven't seen the first one, check it out. It's here on the YouTube channel. Um, but round two at Liberté, out the back in the saloon with the boys from Zabragas, Mr. Paul Hogan and Mr. Marty Cooper. Now you'll know this is the second of our two because the second, hat backwards. First one, hat forwards. So look at this man, you'll know can't, exactly. Can't afford to change the shirt, Exactly mate. where so, you are. It's just and how I, it is. I know you just turn the hat around because you're getting serious here. Like this Absolutely. is the, Focus. This, this, is, this, is, this is gonna be a, a very good little bracket. Let's hop straight in. So we're investigating Riesling in all its shapes and sizes from here, from over east, as you boys in the west say. That's right. Um, and from all the way you know, across the uh, equator, equator and up into the northern hemisphere. So who knows what we'll find. A couple of Bahama Rieslings here, I think, mate. Might be. <laughs> Bahama <laughs> Rieslings. Oh, I love the Bahamas. Yeah. Like Great drink. place to drink Riesling, the Bahamas. Should be drinking Riesling there. Lovely, fra all right, Riesling, fragrance. It's very much about fragrance, perfume, aromas. This wine has, um, has some sort of apple flinty, um, like baked apple sort of, sort of smells. Sweet, but sweet, you know, like yeah. orchard. Absolutely. Sweet yeah. orchard apples. Do you, in your mind, do you see, you know, Claire, mm. uh, do you see regions when you hit a wine straight up? Or do you see cool <laughs> climate or maybe not so cool? You all right then, mate? Yeah. Okay. It's a big it's wine. Big I wine. Think, I love it. You, you didn't want to spit it out, was that? Oh, I didn't expect the sweetness. That's what mm. took me by surprise. I didn't expect the wine to be so sweet. Yeah, it's a big um, wine. Yeah, some, look, some Rieslings from, um, you know, from from specific places do take on specific characters and aromatically you can often, you can get pretty close to where they are on the map. But I think, you know, what we're seeing here in Australia and, you know, um, very much the stuff that you guys are interested in is we're, we're kind of shaking things up a bit. And I think, I think we're, we're, we're going to be rediscovering the sort of style of regions and then individual sites um, within the context of Australian reasoning over the next sort of five years because the, you know, the egg's been cracked and, and, and style wars are on Absolutely. And, um, and everyone's sort of looking for, looking for finding new and interesting sort of styles. Yep. This one, um, the sweetness took me by surprise, yep. like you saw there. I was, so wasn't, wasn't expecting um, so much sweetness. It does smell like... You're not diabetic, eh? No, I'm not. No. Um, not yet. <laughs> uh, it doesn't smell like um, an old world wine. It yep. smells, you know, it's yeah, had yeah. an Australian ness about it, yep. but quite spicy, like a cool sort of place. Yep. Um, so let's check that out. Quite sweet and very Tasmanian um, and very delicate. SGR Riesling 2008 from Joseph Cromie oh. in Tasmania. Um, is that how they speak in Tasmania, mate? Or is, is that more? I'm not going to make any Tasmanian <laughs> jokes because I like going to Tasmania. They're nice people. Um, Crystal Ooh, Refreshing Riesling, 60 grams per litre. Wow. So SGR, I guess, is 60 grams residual. Um, that's quite a lot. Like in Australia, you know, traditional Aussie Riesling dry, two grams a litre yeah. less. So the good thing, I think, with that wine is it's saying how many grams of sugar it's got on the front, so the consumer knows what they're getting. And I think that's one thing with Riesling, about trying to identify what style you like. Some of them might like something sweeter, some of them might like something drier. But if the Rieslings are marked correctly for what the consumer wants, I think the, half the battle is won, really. Yeah, and the Tassies came up with this, the SGR. They also had an FGR, um, which was 40 grams residual. Um, and when that first came out, some of us would be confused. We thought it might have meant good Riesling. Right, okay. Uh, but it means 40 grams of residual. So we sort of figured that one out pretty quick as soon as we tasted it. Let's taste the second wine. Um, but I think you're right. You know, we need to be able to, if these new styles, are going to come out and let's face it it's not as if every Australian is drinking Riesling madly so a lot of people are going to be discovering these wines for the first, first time, time but it'd be nice for them to know what they're up for when they um, when they buy a bottle so this little you know idea of indicating with a word or with a scale uh, like you guys are using that that international Riesling scale on your wine that's right yeah. I think um, you know it's really useful for people that are hopping in for the first time or trying a different style Absolutely. that's smoky that smells it's got that's a smoky sort of smell yeah. to it well, <laughs> smoky, flinty. It is very much so, yeah. But very quite smoky. Very different to the first one we tried. Yeah, wow. smoky on the palate too. Wow. So, yeah. smoky says Victoria, says bushfires. There it and is. And it says 2009 Mac Forbes Riesling RS6, yeah. altitude of 600 meters. RS represents the residual sugar, so we're thinking six grams. 16. 16 grams of residual sugar, 
10 grams per litre of acidity right yeah. there on the front label. So this is so where it comes to balance. It's not just all about the sugar, it's about the acidity in the it's, wine as well. It's pretty dry. Yeah. It's yeah. very smoky yeah. though. Yeah. Um, but I like, I like what Mac's done there. Um, so smoke, we're talking bushfire, smoke, smoke taint. Um, but I like what Mac's done there. He's put the grams of acid and the grams of sugar. And sugar and acid in Riesling, like in everything, food, whatever, they, they cancel each other out or they have a, a sort of a symbiotic relationship. Yeah. Um, and alcohol you can also throw into that mix. But um, you know, higher the acid, generally the more sugar the wine can carry without looking, um, without looking too sweet. So you're gonna do a little rinse? Yeah. Um, okay, so this has a little, there is an aptly sort of, I do get a stone fruity edge on this wine actually. And some citrus. Mm. Sorry, mate. Granny Smith apples. Yeah, yeah. lots of Granny Smith. Oh, mm. look like that. I love Granny Smith apples. Um, cinnamon, cinnamon, and cloves. You know, it's like Granny's apple pie. <laughs> Good old Granny. It's got <laughs> tang pie. to it. That wine. Yeah. There's a texturally. That wine has. Um, it's got a uh, like a sort of a what I describe as like a nicely honed or nicely polished sort of palette. Yeah. Um, and there's there's it's compact. There's density and richness, but it's all it's all been finished and sort of just polished nice on the outside. So it doesn't have sharp edges or angles, mm -hmm. um, but it still has this integrity and concentration and depth that I you know I look for in, in good riesling. Mm. I like that. And it's got it's got tension, and tension's another thing that you look for in I like these sorts of wines. That's cool. I like you know, that. and that's that sugar acid balance thing that creates a tension where you've got um, you know you've got flavour and richness, but you've got this tang and this sort of snap on the palate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Refreshing that, finish. I can just. Yeah, you got that whole mouth feel, and it just keeps on giving. Mm. Keeps on giving. Keeps, keeps on, on giving. giving. Yeah. I like Generous. that. Mm. Tension is a good word. We remember that at Exaragus. You, All right, you create a lot of tension. This might be one of your wines, <laughs> and it is. It's the X by Zabragas, Spencer Riesling. So Spencer is um, is, is another vineyard name. So yeah, you've made yep. two individual vineyard wines from 2010. Yep. Yep. Spencer. So what do we got here? We've got um. 10.9% alcohol on the scale, the little Riesling. You can see that on the camera there, the little Riesling the scale out. on the back there, the slider. So we're in medium dry territory here. Um, and so, what sort of acid? So, 10.9 alcohol, about 10. 10 grams of acid and sugar, about 25. 25. Yeah. Whammy! 25 grams. All right. Yeah. Nice balance. I think it carries it really well. Um, oh, got this. My so, job is lacking, sorry. Wine four, four wines this time. We did six Rieslings in the first episode, and that's the episode that Marty has his hat turned forwards. Um, I, can go, I can go this way if you like, French. That'll be the third episode. That'll be the third. Keep we'll going. Wait, we'll wait until we do some red. Sideways might be after dark Riesling. Ooh. Off piste. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this smells great. I'm liking that's, I'm that's liking amazing this. wine. Yeah. Wow. Um, mm. That's a great, it's a great, that's a very technical term, wow. It is um, that's all those years of training. That wine has got the wow factor. So that's got all those stone fruits. It's got sort of um, sort of just ripe nectarines, yeah. peaches. There's almost a grapefruity edge to it. There's a bit of um, there's a, a bit of sort of um, almost into orange, candied orange yeah, and definitely. apricots. So a little bit of apricot, bit of botrytis maybe. Yeah, my reckon so. It's a meal Which is a positive, guys. Yeah. yeah. But it's so fragrant. Like you get, imagine all of those things in a puree and then poured over stones. You know, it's got this stony mineral sort of uh, aroma as well. Absolutely. I'm salivating. It is. It's a drink. It is the shit. All right. Mm. Mm. So talk about acid sugar it's pretty balance. Pretty hard to uh, spit that one out, actually. Yeah. Almost didn't spit it out. <laughs> um, I'm going to have another crack at that. Yeah. Acid sugar balance, that's incredibly sweet, but incredibly lean, and it's still going on the palate now, like it just has this, you know, we're talking about that extension, and you're talking about just going on and on and finishing long, that one just keeps going okay. and going and going. Mm. Uh, Drive, doesn't it? It just carries and just follows. What were you were talking about the fly casting the other day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were saying, Good drive, good nice carry. cast, nice cast, cast and nice absolutely. carry. Um, I think what this is showing to me is you don't have to be scared of sweetness. 
you know, in these reasonings at all. You don't have to say, oh, I don't like sweet wine, or as long as it's got balance. Um, if you don't you like hold... sweet wine, oh, that's, that's yeah. cool, because I'll just go and drink it all myself. I'm yeah. quite happy. If you've got balance, that. balance will hold the sweetness in there. You know, it's, you're not just having a glass of cordial, you've really got some balance and an unfolding that's story delicious. in the wine. Yeah. Mm. yeah, well, let's find out what it is. So let's see what this is. Um, Babendum, okay. Um, Robert Vile, um, one of the, my absolute um, favourite favourite producers from the Rheingau. Yeah. So that's this is Rheingau Riesling Spatlays, um, and it's made in a sweet style. Spatlays means the sort of late picked, and um, so her, they've hung the grapes out, got them very ripe. Um, it's a special little selection. bit of botrytis giving some complexity there, but the amazing thing about this is the richness, the texture, the phenolics. Um, the sweetness and then all the acidity underneath oh, that just sort layer of layer upon layer upon layer. Yeah, yeah. She I mean, rolls it and folds it and rolls it again. <laughs> it's interesting too. I mean, eight and a half percent alcohol, mate. Um, look at this, the CO two coming out of that. Like lovely. So gas is actually, you know, some people are a bit scared of that sometimes. Yeah, don't be scared. Of that. I'm going to give this a shake, and you look at all the, all the, um, all the gas that's coming up through the through the wine there. Like it's just absolutely, absolutely packed, packed full of it. Full. Um, don't and it. don't be afraid of that because uh, it, it adds it adds sort of prickle and uh, and texture and spritz, which um, yeah, another layer, which, which is a nice thing. Layer. And yeah. I remember years ago in, in like judging wine shows, I used to get really frustrated as a as a whippersnapper judge because I'd love that I love that tingle and spritz in wines like Riesling and Somebody and uh, a lot of the older it. school judges would say that you know that's that's just way out of line and knock it knock it on the head for faults. Just for that. And I'd you know I'd go back to my desk and sort of stare at my feet and kick the carpet a bit and you know <laughs> mumble about it. But yeah, but now thankfully all of this sort of stuff I guess is, is much more accepted and it adds to the texture. Um, so pretty nice textural lineup. Absolutely. Very sweet, Tassie, 60 grams. Um, Quite smoky, but nice acid balance, sugar balance. Yeah. Yep, um, balance. This is probably the tightest. Like your Spencer Riesling is the tightest, even though we're sort of in that medium dry territory. Um, you've you've got the acidity to actually make that a, a what appears to be um, a, a sweeter wine through the middle, but then dries up nicely on the finish. Mm -hmm. And then this last wine is probably that taken to you know times ten, Absolutely. where you've got um, incredible sweetness and then incredible dryness and a nice tight sort of snap on the finish. Yeah. So there you go, Riesling. Um, we got to do a third one, surely. That's right. We have to do a third yeah. one. Truck and beer and oscillator next time. Yeah, we're just getting going. You got a sweet wine up your sleeve somewhere? Got some old stuff, but we're looking at it. This finish is probably be our first crack at that, mate. Yeah. We last year was a dry season wouldn't be able to carry it off, but this year we're looking at definitely going for a sweetie. All right, so 2011, here we are. We're what, four weeks out from harvest? Yep, about done. Yep. Got your eye in now, ready to go? Exactly, sided up. Got a few high benchmarks with a few of these, but really good stuff, yeah. Really interesting to see. I mean, that's unfortunate in the vintage, but just those variations that we've seen right through, it's always good from a winemaking point of view because you sort of, as you say, get your eye in for when you kill the ferment sort of thing. So, yeah. Mate, that was awesome. Let's Thanks do it again. Very much. Thanks, Thanks Paul. Thanks for coming. All right, mate. Thank you. Thanks for the big one. No problem.